Good morning, myself Dr. Rajalakshmi, Associate Professor in Chemistry. In this session, we are going to discuss about uh, Unit 3 Mass Spectrometry in Advanced Techniques. Mass Spectrometry, it is a micro-analytical techniques that involves only nanomoles of molecules. Uh, as usual, uh, along with uh, H1, C13, UV, IR spectroscopy, that mass spectroscopy can also be applied, but the problem with this one is it is a destructive technique. Uh, afterwards, uh, the, uh, the compound cannot be used as such. Mass spectrometry is the most accurate method for the determination of molecular mass of the compound. Wilhelm Wien, he is the German scientist who discovered that the beams of charged particles could be deflected by magnetic field. He found a uh, spectroscopy in 1898. Afterwards, J.J. Thomson, who was developed the first mass spectrometer, other uh, Jeffrey Damster and F. W. Ashton, they were devised the modern techniques of mass spectrometry. The Nobel Prize for Physics was shared by Dumont and W. Paul for the development of ion trap techniques. In 2002, the Nobel Prize for Chemistry was awarded to John Bennett Fenn for the development of electrospray ionization source. There were several types of mass spectrometry, AMS, accelerator mass spectrometry, gas chromatography mass spectrometry GCMOS, liquid chromatography mass spectrometry LCMOS. That uh, GCMOS and liquid uh, chromatography that means LCMOS, these are the most common analytical techniques used for the analysis of uh, organic compounds. Intactively coupled plasma mass spectrometry, ICPMS, isotope ratio mass spectrometry, IRMS, ion mobility spectrometry or mass spectrometry. The next one is MALDI TOF. MALDI TOF means matrix assisted laser desorption ionization technique TOF time of flight. SELD uh, TOF, this is surface enhanced laser desorption ionization technique involving time of flight. Tantum mass spectrometry, thermal ionization mass spectrometry, TIMS, spark source mass spectrometry, SSMS. These are all the some of the mass spectrometry or mass spectral techniques. The principle for mass spectrometry. In the mass spectrometry, organic molecules are bombarded with a beam of energetic electron having 70 electron volt that should be in the gaseous phase under pressure between 10 power minus 7 to 10 power 5 mm of mercury. Using tungsten or rhenium filament, molecules are broken up into cations and many of other fragments. Mass spectrometry that involves ionization of the molecule at first for the formation of the molecular ion, ionization is a must. Molecule in the vapor phase that are ionized. Uh, there are several techniques for ionization techniques. Uh, for volatile samples, the most common techniques are electron impact ionization and chemical ionization. But for non-volatile samples, fast atom bombardment FAB, secondary ion mass spectrometry SIMS, thermospray, MALDI matrix assisted laser desorption ionization technique, electron spray ionization and APCA atmospheric pressure chemical ionization techniques. These are all some of the ionization techniques. Ionization methods in mass spectrometry, electron impact ionization uh, that is used for thermally volatile and most stable compounds having molecular weight to 500 Dalton. A chemical ionization techniques that also similar to electron ionization techniques that is also used for thermally volatile and stable molecules having 500 and Dalton molecular weight. Electron spray ionization, this technique is used for polar and basic compounds having molecular weight 7000 Dalton. Next, the fast atom bombardment technique FAB that is commonly used for proteins, peptides having molecular weight 7000 Dalton. The next one, a field desorption, all the techniques like MALDI, 
and cell uh, uh, these are all uh, involves only the desorption ionization techniques only field ionization techniques that is used for the only volatile molecule having Dawson Dalton Maldi techniques uh, that is very important one that is used to analyze the large biomolecules having molecular weight 3 lakhs Dalton plasma desorption techniques uh, that is also used for normal compounds having molecular weight uh, 500 adult and APCI that is used for compounds which are thermally labile having molecular weight 1000 Dalton SIMS secondary ion mass spectrometry the techniques is, is similar to FEAB fast atom bombardment technique uh, that is used to analyze the compounds having 300 to th uh, 13,000 Dalton uh, next the one is laser desorption ionization techniques most of the techniques are following the laser desorption method multi multi and cell d that also involves laser desorption so this is used for the elemental analysis of the compounds having 500 and dalton electron ionization techniques or electron impact ionization techniques in this the molecule which is in the vaporous form that is ionized using the electron bombardment method uh, that means the molecule analyte is uh, bombarded with a molecule uh, with a beam of collimating electron having 70 electron volt afterwards the outer sphere electron from the molecule will be removed so that the molecular ion that means the cation radical will be produced electron ionization is one of the most important ionization source that is used for analyzing molecules which are smaller and hydrophobic in nature which are thermally more stable and then electron ionization usually generates uh, that is called a hard ionization source this is because that will give more number of fragments <laughs> chemical ionization techniques that is uh, similar to uh, electron impact ionization techniques but uh, this technique is used for compounds which are uh, uh, very reluctant towards ionization in that case uh, a chemical uh, like uh, uh, isobutane, methane, ammonia, anyone can be used as a chemical for this case. First the chemical uh, that is the reagent uh, that is bombarded with uh, electron uh, like uh, what we have done in the electron ionization techniques uh, that is impacted with uh, the reagent is treated with uh, or bombarded with uh, a collimating electron having energy of uh, 70 electron volt okay that will remove an electron from that reagent thereby that produces the molecular ion radical of the chemical first okay now the chemicals are treated with the are, uh, are allowed to collide with the compost to be analyzed in that case uh, the collision between that compound that rh plus and that analyte that will transfer one proton to that analyte thereby a quasi molecular ion will be produced but in this case the molecular ion will have one atomic mass unit always excess than that of the molecular weight of that compound the next one is fast atom bombardment technique FAB it was done by bombarding a, sim a sample in a vacuum with a beam of atoms um, usually argon or xenon accelerated to kilowatt energies the sample is usually uh, first fixed in a matrix. The matrix, uh, commonly used matrixes are glycerol and nitrobenzoic acid. Uh, any solvent can be used uh, as a matrix, but they should be viscous in nature. Two of the most common matrices used with uh, FAB are nitrobenzoyl alcohol and glycerol. Matrix assisted laser desorption ionization mass spectrometry, MALDI mass spectrometry. MALDI MS was the first introduced by uh, Tanka Karsi and uh, Hillen Camp in 1988. It has since become a widespread analytical tool for peptides, proteins and most other biomolecules like oligonucleotides, carbohydrates, natural products and lipids. The efficient and directed energy transfer during matrix assisted laser induced desorption even provide a high ion yield of the intact analyte. For the measurement of compounds with the sub picomole sensitivity in addition the utility of MALDI for the analysis of heterogeneous samples makes it very attractive for the mass analysis of complex biological samples such as proteolytic digest. Electron spray ionization techniques. Uh, 
in 2002 electron spray for electron spray ionization technique only the chemistry people they awarded Nobel Prize. ESI is a method routinely used with the peptides, proteins, carbohydrates, small oligonucleotides, synthetic polymers and lipids. ESI produces gaseous ionized molecules directly from liquid solution unlike uh, electron impact ionization and chemical ionization all other techniques in electron spray ionization the analyte is used in the form of liquid. It operates by creating a fine spray of highly charged droplets in the presence of electric field. The instrumentation is given in this slide. Atmospheric pressure chemical ionization techniques APCI has also become an important ionization source because it generates ions directly from solution like uh, electron spray ionization method. This can capable of analyzing relatively non-polar compounds. The ionization originates from the solvent being excited ionized from the corona discharge. Solvent ions are present at atmospheric pressure conditions. It is almost similar to chemical ionization of analyte molecules. It is very efficient at atmospheric pressure. Analyte molecules collide with the reagent ion frequently as we have discussed in the chemical ionization techniques. Proton transfer from that uh, chemical uh, to that uh, analyte is occurs here thereby MH plus ions are produced like uh, chemical ionization here also uh, quasi molecular ion is produced. The types of ions produced in the mass spectrum actually mass spectrum is a plot of uh, uh, mass to charge ratio that means uh, that uh, ions which are produced the mass to charge ratio against the relative abundance. The types of ions produced in mass spectrum uh, the parent ion or molecular ion, fragment ions, the rearrangement ions, metastable ions, multiple charged ions, isotope ions, negative ions. This is the mass spectrum of acetone in that uh, that molecular ion is observed at M by Z 58. The molecular ion produced from that acetone molecule is uh, appears at a uh, a low intensity peak appears as a low intensity peak at M by Z 58 and the peak observed at M by Z 43 that is due to C history CO plus that is appeared as a uh, base peak. In the mass spectrum base peak uh, is uh, obtained by the ions which are in large abundant the, the pitch the ions which is produced in large excess uh, that will appear as a base peak relative to the base peak uh, the intensity of uh, all other ions are fixed. In this case uh, apart from the two molecular ion peak and that base peak uh, a peak corresponding to M, M by Z15 is also observed that is due to C history plus ion. Fragment ion sorry molecular ion or parent ion. Molecular ion is obtained by the bombardment of that analyte by a beam of electron again having that energy 70 electron volt that removes one electron from that analyte that by it produces a cation radical with the loss of two electron. The excess of energy that leads to or uh, that is dissipated uh, in the fragmentation process. The molecular ion is always a cation radical, fragment ion. The, uh, in the previous slide we discussed that once the molecular ion is produced the excess energy the, actually we are using 70 electron volt that uh, electron is having 70 electron volt only small amount of energy is used to remove the one, more, one electron from that analyte. So the excess energy is uh, dissipated uh, uh, in fragmentizing that molecule. So, so many number of fragments can be obtained. Uh, we can expect the fragmented ion in, uh, in case of electron impact ionization techniques. When the energy is given to the molecular ion during that electron impact further cleavage takes place and ions of lower mass number known as fragment ions are produced. The fragment ions can be called as data ions are also. See uh, in this picture the benzyl bromide is given the on fragmentation that gives a benzylic cation. That molecular ion is a cation radical uh, after the removal of that bromine as radical Br dot 
m by z at 79 you can expect a peak uh, corresponding to m by z 79 and then peak uh, corresponding to m by z 91 these are all data ions multi charged ions uh, this type of multi charged ions are very rare because uh, in case of uh, all the mass spectral techniques uh, uh, initially one electron will be removed from that molecule thereby a cation radical will be produced uh, the loss of two or three electron is very rare suppose uh, if, if excess of energy is uh, consumed by the molecule thereby two or three electrons removed from their means a w or triply charged ions can be obtained so this type of w or triply charged ions that we can expect in the mass spectrum of inorganic compounds the uh, gases such as co n2 co2 and o2 have measurable peaks corresponding to co2 plus n2 plus and o2 plus metastable ions this is very important in analyzing the mode of fragmentation fragment of parent ion will give rise to a new data ion plus either a neutral molecule or a radical actually when the molecular ion undergoes fragmentation means that will give molecular ion is a cation radical that can give you a cation radical along with a neutral species or it may fragmentize to give you a cation as well as a radical in some of the cases with the elimination of a neutral species a cation radical can be produced for example we are expecting m1 and m uh, mn plus and m2 plus as the ions means in some cases instead of ions uh, which is produced at m1 plus and m2 plus that m1 uh, will not be recorded at either uh, for example that m1 cannot decompose to m2 plus actually it is expected the m1 has to be decomposed to m2 plus but in some cases m1 cannot be decomposed to m2 plus but a peak is obtained at m uh, star the, 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 that is denoted as m as rich uh, in that position it can be obtained that is somewhere between m1 and m2 that appears as here uh, uh, broad diffuse peak. Normally, in the mass spectrum peaks are uh, uh, intense peaks, but that uh, metastable ions are appears as here broad and uh, diffuse peaks. Metastable ions are useful in helping to establish fragments roots. Me this metastable peak can also be used to, to distinguish between the fragmentation process which occur in few microseconds. Next, general rules for fragmentation. The relative height of the molecular ion peak is greater for straight chain compound and decreases as the degree of branching increases. The relative height of the molecular ion peak usually decreases with the increasing molecular weight in a homologous series. For example, when we are moving from ethane to propane, propane to butane like that, the fragmentation is possible more in case of butane when compared to ethane. Cleavage is favored at alkyl substituted in case of uh, branched chain compounds. The cleavage is favored at alkyl substituted carbon atoms. The more the substitution, the more likely is cleavage. Stevens rule that is very much useful in predicting what type of fragments we are expecting from the molecules. When an ion fragments, the positive charge will remain and the fragment of low ionization potential. That means uh, Generally, the largest substituent at a branch is eliminated most readily as a radical, presumably because a long chain radical can achieve some stability by delocalization of the lone electron, lone pair of electron. For example, in case of 1 methyl pentane, there are several preferable sites for the fragmentation. The fragmentation can also occur here, that may be affected here or the fragmentation may be like this as shown in this uh, uh, equation the fragmentation that occurs here if the fragmentation occurs here means in this position uh, then two largest fragments are obtained one as radical another one as uh, that is uh, one as uh, propyl radical another one as isopropyl cation both are propyl only here that iso that propyl radical that will rearrange itself to form isopropyl radical so this is the preferable preferable fragmentation mode but if the fragmentation occurs in this methyl position then one will be eliminated as a radical the another pentyl group that has to be eliminated as a another species uh, the, that as a cation or as a radical that is uh, uh, 
given by Stevens rule. That pentyl group that is removed as a radical, methyl that is removed as a cation. This is because that pentyl radical that stabilizes itself by means of resonance. In case of doubly bonded system, the double bonds favors allylic cleavage, a resonance stabilized allylic carbonium, carbonium ion can be produced. This is because in case of uh, one butene, there are two sites for fragmentation, one and two. But the molecule will prefer only that allylic cleavage thereby that produces an allyl cation along with a methyl radical. This is because that uh, Allylic, uh, allylic cation that can stabilize by means of resonance as shown in the figure. Saturated rings tends to lose alkyl side chains at the alpha carbon atom, this positive charge tends to stay with the ring fragment. Factors influencing fragmentation process. Number one, bombardment energy, what is the energy we are giving to that molecule? If the energy is less means uh, the fragmentation is slowed down. Number two, functional group. So, depending upon the nature of the functional group present in the system, the fragmentation is affected. Next, if the molecule is stable enough, fragmentation is very rare. But if it is uh, uh, thermally labile means in that case, uh, the decomposition of the molecule may occur. General modes of fragmentation, simple cleavage. A molecule may undergo simple cleavage either by homolytic cleavage or heterolytic cleavage. There is another possible mode that is retro disorder reaction. Some of the fragmentation are affected by rearrangement reactions accompanied by transfer of atoms. Number one, scrambling. Number two, McLaughlin rearrangement. Number three, elimination. Homolytic cleavage. <laughs> uh, homolytic cleavage. Uh, uh, here the fragmentation is due to electron distribution of bonds. Actually this type of cleavages are called as beta cleavage. This is because the bond which is beta to the charged site that will undergo cleavage thereby producing a radical and a cation. Hydrolytic cleavage, uh, this cleavage is called as the alpha cleavage. This is because again the bond which is alpha to the charge site as denoted by that uh, arrow, that bond is the alpha bond which is uh, alpha to that uh, charged site that undergoes cleavage that uh, it is a two electron react, uh, transfer reaction thereby it produces a cation as well as a alkoxy group as a radical. This type of hydrolytic cleavage we can expect in case of compounds where the carbon is bonded to. Uh, a more electro negative element uh, which is singly bonded to more electro negative element for example, CCL, CBR or COH in that type of cases that means alcoholic compounds were halides in that cases we can expect a alpha cleavage that means a heterolytic cleavage. But uh, suppose that uh, uh, butyl chloride is used to means in that case uh, CL uh, cannot easily be cleaved as a radical. In that case, elimination is effective that we will discuss under elimination method. Number three, retro Diels-Alder reaction. A retro Diels-Alder reaction uh, for Diels-Alder reaction, the starting materials are diene and an ene. Uh, these type of Diels-Alder reactions are more common in case of uh, alicyclic system having an unsaturated site. Uh, this involves uh, two bond cleavage. This may uh, that may occur as a um, one electron mechanism uh, that may follow a one electron mechanism or a two electron mechanism that means uh, uh, homolytic cleavage or heterolytic cleavage. But at any cost they will produce only that uh, diene that means unsaturated two unsaturated ions that ions. Rearrangement reactions accompanied by transfer of atom. Uh, in this example given is benzylic uh, compound having a benzylic groups that may be uh, the R may be uh, some other alkyl groups. Okay. So, in that case of benzylic system the cleavage is always a, a beta uh, cleavage that means uh, the bond which is uh, beta to that uh, charge site may undergo cleavage uh, that means the cleavage is uh, actually 
a homolytic leavage. Thereby, it produces benzylic cation that R group is removed as alkyl groups, whatever it may be, whether it is methyl group or some other al alkyl groups that will be removed as a radical. Here, the benzylic cation which is produced that undergoes scrambling. Scrambling means uh, uh, rupturing of uh, to one of the CC bond and of the formation of a new bond. So, that that benzylic cation that will undergo scrambling thereby forms a tropelium cation. The tropelium cation is the most stable one. We know that uh, the tropelium ion is a homo aromatic compound. So, that we can expect a, a base peak corresponding to M by Z 91 in case of uh, compound possessing benzylic mighty. The next shim rearrangement, McLaughlin rearrangement, another fragmentation mode. Um, McLaughlin rearrangement that involves uh, gamma hydrogen abstraction followed by the beta bond cleavage. The beta this bond is the beta bond. By the cleavage of the beta bond, the fragmentation is affected. Initially, the gamma hydrogen is uh, abstracted by the carbonyl group. Uh, this type of rearrangement we can expect in most commonly in case of uh, carbonyl compounds. Uh, even unsaturated system may also undergo McLaughlin tree rearrangement reactions provided if there is a gamma hydrogen atom. The McLaughlin tree rearrangement uh, that proceeds through a uh, hypothetical 6 member transition state, then it expels one neutral species, a neutral olefinic moiety. This moiety is called as the McLaughlin tree rearranged ion. Actually, in this case, the product which is obtained is an enol, this will undergo tautomerization. To give the corresponding ketone or aldehyde, what, uh, what is the starting material based on that you can get. Uh, the next one is elimination. Under heterolytic fission, we discussed about uh, uh, that uh, uh, N-butyl chloride. In case of N-butyl chlo chloride, uh, that is Cl elimination as radical is not possible. So, in that case, uh, uh, one, one hydrogen atom from that first carbon uh, or with respect to that chlorine that the last carbon and uh, the chlorine from the first carbon, the two are eliminated thereby a cyclobutyl cation will be produced. In this case, the, in this example what is given here is butanol. After the formation of the molecular ion, see here it is a cation radical. One molecule of water is eliminated, thereby the cation is produced. This may undergo further fragmentation. This is how the fragmentation is affected. By the elimination of one molecule only, the fragmentation is affected. This is one of the method, mode of fragmentation. Now, we will discuss about the fragmentation pattern in some of the aromatic compounds. Here, a benzene fragmentation mode is given. Benzene, the molecular formula C6H6. Here, the molecular ion is produced by the loss of one electron from the aromatic sex tract. So, that the molecular ion is produced. But the molecular ion is relatively intense. This is because that uh, radical uh, or the positive charge that can be stabilized by means of resonance. After the loss of one uh, hydrogen atom or hydrogen radical, a P corresponding to M by Z77 will be obtained that is due to the phenyl cation C6H5 plus. This type of phenyl cations are very rare in normal organic reactions because there is an carbon which is in a uh, sp2 hybridized state with empty orbital. This positive charge cannot be delocalized by means of uh, the electrons which is circulating here that is uh, given by the shaded region that cannot be delocalized because that orbital is a vacant orbital. So, that uh, this is somewhat uh, less stable. So, immediately that phenyl cation that expels one neutral molecule acetylene and then produces a cation C4 H3 plus that may be observed as a base peak in case of uh, compound possessing the tyrine mite. This is the fragmentation mode for benzene. In case of alkyl benzene, when we are discussing about uh, that uh, hom homolytic cleavage and that is scrambling techniques we discussed about that benzylic cleavage. See the where there is a benzylic moiety the molecule always prefer benzylic cleavage that means cleavage 
the preferred site for the cleavage is this one. So, after the cleavage, uh, C history is removed as a radical and benzylic cation is pr produced by means of scrambling technique that means uh, rupture and formation of a newborn thereby it produces a tropelium ion at M by Z91 that is the most stable ion. So, the base peak observed in this case is at M by Z91 then the tropelium ion that loses uh, or expels uh, a neutral species acetylene molecule then that gives a peak uh, relatively stable peak at M by Z 65 that is due to cyclopentyl cation. The mass spectrum of hydrocinamaldehyde, this hydrocinamaldehyde also favors uh, benzylic cleavage only. That is the reason why the peak uh, at uh, what M by Z 91 that is due to tropelium ion, benzylic cation on scrambling that gives tropelium ion, the tropelium ion is observed at 91. The molecular mass of that compound is observed at M plus 134, this is the molecular ion. If that cleavage occurs here, this is very rare, if that cleavage is occurs here, then the peak at M by Z 105 is expected, but in case of uh, compound having that benzylic moiety, the cleavage at the benzylic part only favorable one that is why most of the molecules are adapting this fragmentation mode that is why that abundancy is very high and appears as a base peak. Some of the data ions are also be observed in this case. Next the fragmentation pattern in alkyl halides uh, similar to this what we have discussed under uh, alpha cleavage the molecular ion that undergoes alpha cleavage that loses one if it is chlorine or bromine or iodine that uh, halogen is removed as a radical and phenyl cation is produced. That phenyl cation that is uh, somewhat less stable have that appears at M by Z 77 in the mass spectrum of this type of compounds that expels one molecule of acetylene that gives a peak corresponding to M by Z 51 that is due to cyclobutyl cation. Suppose if that halogen is fluorine that CF bond cleavage is, is not possible because fluorine is more electronegative that bond is very strong. So, in that case instead of cleaving in that pattern that means where in the previous case Cl is removed as radical, but here fluorine cannot be removed as radical, but the molecule uh, molecular ion radical that immediately expels one molecule of acetylene and produces a peak corresponding to M by Z 17 that is due to C4H3 of cation radical. In case of ethers there are two fragmentation mode. One, just the molecule loses one hydrogen as radical and then that by uh, scrambling technique hydrogen transfer techniques that will be transferred to the phenyl moiety and that uh, formaldehyde molecule is removed the benzyl cation uh, that means uh, benzene molecular ion radical type of species will be produced afterwards that benzene molecular ion radical uh, that removes one hydrogen as radical then a peak corresponding to M by Z 77 is observed. Phenyl cation once phenyl cation is produced means uh, it immediately expels uh, that acetylene and then produces uh, a peak corresponding to M by Z 51 that may be observed as the base peak in most of the compound having phenyl cations. Another mode of fragmentation in case of ethers is uh, the cleavage at this site that means the methyl group is removed as a methyl radical followed by the formation of uh, cyclohexanone hexadienone type of compounds in that uh, that cation produced that expels a carbon monoxide CO group thereby it that produces cyclopentyl cation that cyclopentyl cation may expel an acetylene by thereby it will produce is a cyclopropyl cation that is very rare or sometimes it may stop at this level producing that cyclopentyl cation corresponding to M by Z 65. Carbonyl compounds, the preferred mode of fragmentation in carbonyl compound 
or the preferred site for the fragmentation is this one. Thereby they produces this mighty C6H5 CO plus at M by Z105. This mighty on rearrangement or by means of scrambling that produces the tropenone mighty, most stable tropenone mighty. So, where there is a C6H5CO mighty, in the, all the cases the compound will undergo this type of fragmentation, whatever may be the text here, that uh, suppose if it is aldehyde, for example, see in the first, first one aldehyde, uh, this is the preferred site. In the second case, OH is removed as radical. The third case, if it is a ketone, that alkyl group is removed as radical. And in case of ester, that alkoxy uh, group is removed as radical. And in case of acid chloride, chlorine is removed as radical. And this is the preferred site, NH2 is removed as the radical. So that uh, at any cost, they will produce uh, that uh, benzyl cation, that benzyl cation, and further. A scrambling by means of scrambling or rearrangement that will produce a peak corresponding to M by Z105 that is the more preferable mode of fragmentation and that peak is found to be the base peak in all the carbonyl compounds. Let us see the mass spectrum of methyl benzoate. The M plus peak observed at 136 that is uh, the molecular ion peak. See in the mass spectrum of methyl benzoate, there is a large peak, the highly intense peak is that, that highly intense peak is that is the base peak. That is due to that C6H5CO plus that tropenone, okay, this on for the rearrangement that gives uh, tropenone, tropenone is most stable. Uh, that ion observed as the, this one, that ion is observed as the base peak. And then that loses a CO plus then produces a, a phenyl cation, phenyl cation immediately expels one molecular phosphorylin and then produces a P corresponding to M by Z51, this one is. This can also we can expect in case of uh, carbonyl compounds. Aryl alcohols. In this case, by means of hydrogen transfer from oxygen to carbon, a ketone is produced. Afterwards, the molecule expels one molecule of carbon monoxide or CO, thereby that produces cyclopentane. This loses one hydrogen as radical, then that produces the most stable cyclopentyl cation at M by Z65. This is the preferred fragmentation mode for phenol. For primary amine similar to phenol, in case of primary amine also the hydrogen is scrambled or the transferred from the nitrogen atom to the phenyl mighty. That is one of the pathway. In another pathway hydrogen is removed from that nitrogen atom and then produces an H plus species at M by Z 92. The molecular mass of this system is M by Z 93 by the loss of one hydrogen as radical a peak corresponding to M by Z 92 can also be expected. But the most preferable fragmentation mode is this pathway. In that case the HCN is removed followed by the formation of cyclopentene. This will re remove one hydrogen as radical that will produces the most stable M cyclopentyl cation that is appears at M by Z 65. Next for nitrobenzene, nitrobenzene that also involves two frag fragmentation modes that can readily remove that NO2 plus thereby produces that phenyl cation. We know that phenyl cation that immediately expels one molecule of acetylene so that it produces that uh, peak corresponding to M by Z51 that is due to butyl cation. And another mode of fragmentation that molecule that rearranges nitro compound that rearranged into alkyl nitrite. The molecular mass is similar M by Z123 for nitro compound and alkyl nitrite that loses 
that nitrous or uh, the NO here the fragmentation occurs thereby this moiety is obtained at M by Z 93 afterwards this will expels a CO after M by Z 65 we are getting that uh, cyclopentyl cation this is the fragment uh, preferable fragmentation for for nit nitrobenzene in the mass spectrum of nitrobenzene we can uh, expect a peak corresponding to m by z at 65 and m by z at 93 uh, a small peak you can expect at m by z 51 suppose if the molecule that follows this fragmentation mode some of the peaks you can expect at m by z 51 this is the mass spectrum of uh, nitro compounds. The molecular ion peak appears at 123 and the base peak appears at 77 that is due to phenyl cation. Thank you.